And we're back. Where do we leave off? I have to recalibrate here. I still feel like that's all me's. It's very unsettling. What's this? Um, Probably something I can't do yet. We're missing something here. I think so. Fuse required. Yep, don't have one of those. Locked. Oh, maintenance key. Easy. Ew, what's this? Down? Where are we? Is it just like, it's not outside, is it? We're on like a balcony. Okay, we can head down six, but what's out here? Oh, there's a lot of me. It's very unsettling. I don't approve. How many uh, times have we come back here to try and save our friend? Enough to jam the elevators, it seems. Hello, fan room. Storch! How are you, Storch? S-T-C-R. You know, Storch. Security Technician Controller Replica. Okay. <laughs> Buy-in. <laughs> Is it Boyan? Buy-in? <laughs> oh, that's fine. This angry notes. I bet it is. I am officially sick of the Oilers next door. They've been listening to that stupid song non-stop since the piano room was locked down. If I have to hear it one more time, I'm going over there and smashing that stupid tape recorder to pieces. I wonder if there's a way we can borrow a key so we can get into their dorm and put an end to this madness. I don't care about breaking quarantine if it means never having to hear that song again. Someone doesn't like music. On repeat, over and over and over. Oh! It's gonna go this way. Enjoy your shower. Don't mind me. Just... I want these. Can I borrow this? Just gonna... Star! What does that mean? The sh... I, I bet it's gonna tell me, isn't it? Replica overview star. Sysher Heitzner. <laughs> Security technician guard replica starling. Height 220 centimeters. The star is 7 feet tall. The standard model of protector security technicians. Fitted with extended legs. Oh. Star units gracefully tower over most gestalts. Despite their heavy armor, they can move swiftly with their long stride. Their cool and detached demeanor allows them to analyze situations with objectivity and deploy force as required. Trained in close combat and riot control techniques, they operate best in small squads led by an officer's star unit equipped with a ballistic shield. Tall star units. So how much taller than me are they? Like a foot? I'm guessing they'll stand out. Can I sneak over here and grab that? You're not going to see me, right? Oh, it's a <laughs> repair kit. I'll take it. Repair patch. Just gonna go over here now. Oh! It's dark. It is so dark. Oh, there's a glitchy. Just gonna... Will it see me? Can I turn on the lights? Do I have a stun pokey? No. Can I sneak past you? If I can't see you, can you see me? Do I not have a choice? Oh! Saw lights. What is that? It's not too dark to see. We hit it. Do I get a flashlight at some point? Okay, well that feels a little useless. I guess we can turn on the lights at some point. Hello. Just gonna... Sneak over here! Oh! Memo! Lighting malfunctions. Yeah, I've noticed. From Arar! Ara? Arar? Arar? From Arar. That's the that's name now. Arar. Due to a recent incident involving a certain starling that shall remain unnamed, I've adjusted all doors to require visible light to open. 
they should hopefully stop any more non-service cadre personnel from endangering themselves by stumbling into dark rooms until we can take care of the lighting issues. If you've been assigned an illumination failure repair task, remember to equip a flashlight module so the door sensors will let you in. Hint hint? Oh, screw you, Adler. Ask Adler ahead of time if you need one. No, I don't want to. He's usually in his quarters on the 8th floor these days. Screw you, Adler. Oh, Just gonna sneak you over here? I lied? Don't mind me, just no. No. Do I have to fight you? Yep. Nope, wait, let me reload. Ow. Down. Oh, I'm out of ammo? Really? I'm just gonna go in here then. Oh, let's heal. Oh, thank you. That's what I needed. Yep. Perfect. We're gonna say hi to our friend out there in a minute. No, I saw you. Hold up. Hang on. No! Not the other crab friend. Ugh. We'll go back in. Are you back in the floor? I wanna read this. Ara! This is gonna be our lore floor, isn't it? Ara! Arar? All's rec rep uh, Tar Arbiter Replica. What does that mean? General Purpose Repair Work Replica. Ara. Oh, it says right there. All Purpose Repair Worker Replica Macaw. Ara means Macaw. 185 centimeters. Essentially six foot on the dot. The tough worker bees of the construction repair industry. One of the earlier replica designs. The simple but efficient Aras are actually the most produced replica type to date. These strong and heavy worker units are a perfect fit for work in construction and production of industrial goods. In many places throughout our nation, Aras already have replaced all Gestalt workers in fields like climaforming, I presume that's terraforming, but climates, and explosive ordnance disposal. Okay, I think you need an Ara unit here for the floor. Yeah, what are those? I like your hat. Just... Don't look at me, okay? I'm just gonna pick this up. And you just keep doing the thing you're doing. Okay? Yep, just like that. Oh. Okay, can we go down the hole in the scary place? Is down right? Isa. Hi, Adler. I'm afraid the commander won't receive any visitors at the moment. But perhaps I can be of assistance instead. Are you going to push her down an elevator shaft too? Who are you? I'm the administrator of this facility. Please, there's no need to be afraid. I'm just here to help. Erica. Hi, I see you over there. Just stay over there, okay? Wanna pick up this? I can't pick up this, so I lied. Um, okay. Cattle prod is over there. I'll get it later. Hi, Matt. This is Hey Matt. I presume Hymet. Heart of the Revolution. Oh, I unlocked the door. Where does it take me? Am I supposed to recognize this place? Seems like a mail sorting room. Okay, am I supposed to have my shotgun with me? Is that what we're implying here? Does this take me out to my... There's a lot of things that don't want me here. Here. Just gonna... Take these. Let you get back to it. Unless I can sneak around you. Can I sneak around you? 
I don't feel like I can. Oh, there's a fuse I need, though. Sorry, I'm about to prod you. Please go down two shots. Thank you. What's this? Erwartet Baravung? Oh my god! Kitek. Kitek awaits liberation! Is it Kitek? Thank you for the fuse. Good thing I have space now. Aeon! Falk has specifically requested that repair of the looping lift system be prioritized over other repairs. Please replace the fuse as soon as possible. It is a huge hassle for everyone to get around without it. <laughs> yes, please. Does it mean you're going to let me get around with it? Um, this is going to be problematic. On which way is up? Because we need to go really up. Up, please? Oh, you're tall. Are you one of the storks? Shattergate handle? You don't come this way, do you? Yes, you do! Just gonna wait for a second and maybe run up past you. Is that hole get back up? Hi! Nope, 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 nope. Hello, you two! Just gonna see what's this way. Didn't see there, sorry. Just gonna nope. Oh come on. That's cruel and unusual punishment. Ew. I'm out of ammo though. Don't do it. Seventeen, what now? Seventeen something. Seventeen hundred? Nope. Seven three. Seven three what? Stop. Oh, there's a lot on the screen. Okay, leave the scary red. Two two five. Two, four. Ow, my ears. Two, four, seven. What was that? A red thing in the water. There's a keyhole in the painting. A painting of a strange island. Somehow it feels very familiar. This is fine. Okay, and how are we doing? Are we alive? Let's just heal up again, just in case. And we're going to equip this thing because something tells me we're going to need it. For this situation. Um... I'd like to go up, please. Oh, thank you. Yeah, like that. Up. That was a roller coaster I wasn't expecting, and I'm going to go save now, so I don't have to do it again. Pretty please and thank you. Okay, I want my shotgun now. There. Uh, let's go do this fuse thing and see what that is. Fuse? Yep. Time to start clicking things. What are we aiming for here? Do we need to get one to 800 and one to 230? I can't do math. Now we just like guess it. How did that take out so much? Is that the equals and the times and the. I'm guessing it has to make these numbers, right? And we just. I'm not good at math enough to know this. Is it based off what these little things are? Like that subtract, so would this subtract 50? 
Okay. Okay. Okay, we're starting to understand. Okay. Subtraction, addition, multiplication. I can work with that. I can do that, I think. So... I think that's right, right? Okay, let's see. Looks like it. Listen, I am not good at math. That took a while. But now the elevator works, right? We just go down to eight. Because isn't this room supposed to go find Adler's stuff? Red front. Hope of the future. Hope for the future. Unlocks from the other side. Of course it does. Because it take the elevator down to it, don't we? Hi. Keep on walking, my dear. Yep. Don't mind me. Oh, I don't want you patrolling that way, though. Just gonna... Whoop. Right. Don't like whatever sound that was, but there's the elevator I need. Um, was there anything in the other rooms? I think there was just that one scary, and I don't think there was anything there for me. Not really, right? Star! Security Technician Guard Replica Star. Your stars! open. Uh-oh. Ow. Hold up. Made an error. Error? Somewhere safe, please. Okay. What did I need? I need somewhere safer. And just, like, call the elevator, please. Now it's out of order for some reason. Don't know why. There's a post box here? Is it our same number as the Penrose? Note to self, come back with a key. I switched back to the controller and figure if it comes down to combat I'll grab the mouse because it's much easier to navigate with a controller but it's much better to aim with the mouse. So we're trying to try to combo it here by running away. Okay, I need... Elevator, please. Um, down? Because he's on eight, right? Um, down, please. Right? Because they said it's on eight that we get our flashlight thing. It's here. Hello? Now I can... Pick up a shutter gate handle. I need that. Do I need to fight you? Minna. Mina. I know it meant minor, but M N H R. Mining nuclear tech high security replica. Height 260 centimeters. So like nine feet. When it comes to dangerous cargo, heavy machinery, and hazardous environments, no other model rivals the M N H R units with their high security power armor bodies. Even in lethal radiation, under crushing pressure, and in zero G, they keep their calm demeanor and show exemplary teamwork. Despite their hulking bodies, underneath their face shields, a standard Generation 3 cranial construction can be found, making maintenance and social interfacing as easy as with any other replica model. But we gave them human faces so they didn't scare the other miners. Please note the MNHR neural pattern is not suited for combat use. For combat applications, SAPR variant should be used, which employs a combat capable persona in the same frame. For more information, see Anti-Panzer Replica Snapper. The, the Snapper unit. Noted. Well, I think the one that we were meeting earlier was the other kind. Because the thing didn't say the special unit, it just said it was her 
normal one, right? Oh, you didn't reset. Fine. Oh, Adler's office. Oh, that's cool again. Our planets. Home of the new nation's government. Is it Hymat? I heard the view of the gas giant's rings in the sky is beautiful there. Lang. S23 Serpinski's here. I don't know how to pronounce any of these. Listen, if my phone is anywhere near right, I will never do it justice. Kitish. Kitish? That's how we're going to pronounce it. I don't think that's right. That's the closest I can get. The Imperial fleet can only hold it for so long before it will be liberated. Veneta? The ocean world ravaged by war. When I close my eyes, I can hear the sound of the sea. Guessing you've been there before. Boyan. Home to the Imperial Palace, floating above the poisonous clouds. Ravrant. The ice moon circling the largest gas giant. Still in the process of... Oh, climate forming. Interesting lore. Okay, so up it is. Hi! I mean, I got to, right? I can't just like sneak past you. This one's a trigger. Yeah, one of you is going to trigger the other. Sorry. No. I regret. I'll be back in a minute. I want to see what this is. Does this need a key? Hummingbird key. Okay. Hello, other units. Are you the storage units? No! Nope, 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 nope. Ow. Down here? Nope. We go in here. I presume that's Adler's. Nope, not A for Adler. We need a heal. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey, A for Adler was not the answer. Mineshaft, ad admin key. Okay, are we gonna fight these guys? Ah! Fight you. There. Unlocked the door. Ah, okay, so we can go back up. That's locked. Oh, that's reassuring. What's that? Well, I presume this is a flashlight. Yep. Give it to me. Don't just. Okay. How do I turn out oh, use tool to mine? Yes, I need those. Eagle key, of course it needs an eagle key. I think this is what we already read. Hi Adler. Replica overview ADLR. Adler. Administration data processing logistics replica Eagle. 175 centimeters. That is five foot seven. An integral part of every protector. Ah, uh, Furung's commando. Protector, commander dude. An integral part of every protector is the administrator unit. A single ADLR unit can manage and oversee all administrative tasks for an entire facility, freeing other operational command units to focus on the direct control of the protector units. The Adler is designed to work as a direct counterpart to the Falk units, serving as their adjutant by taking care of necessary paperwork and calculations. Cool. Still don't like him. I'm sure he's doing a thing because he has to, and it's for the greater good of all of us, and what have you. Am I going to use that battery if I just keep my flashlight on forever? Because I want to. Hello, goodies? Is 
Just stay over there with your back to me, okay? Just gonna grab these. Starch! Security Technician Controller Replica. 240 centimeters. So they're all tall. Each cadre of the Protector Security Technicians is overseen by a controller unit, the most common of which is the Stork type. One of the tallest replica models, thanks to their extended legs, storks figuratively and literally keep a consistent bird's eye view of any situation, ready to direct and coordinate their assigned security technicians. Their tough, no-nonsense demeanor, though sometimes described as brutal and even cruel, makes them a perfect fit for unwavering sentinels of order. Okay, so they are the tall, mean ones. Just gonna... Oh, you didn't see me? Nope, nothing to see here. Oh, there's a lot of you. I didn't see both of you. Bye! Is there anything else in that room? Nope. I'm just gonna run past you and up, please. Right, and then over here. Yes, I'm just gonna... Oh, it's a safe room. Thank you! Oila. Simple Universal Light Replica. Owl. Generation 4. 175 centimeters. EULR units are the backbone of the Yuzhen Nation's workforce. These elegant multi-purpose worker units are suited for all kinds of domestic tasks like cleaning, cooking, and simple medical and office work. I'm just gonna say owls. I can never say it right. Owls are highly social and get along well with each other as well as most other replica models. While unfit for combat, their lightweight frame makes them a prime choice for distant facilities where supplies are limited. So they're just like the extra help. Owl key, yes, thank you. It is so hard to see. It's gonna go down. Right, I forgot about you. It's gonna check my map. Just stay there for a second. Can we just go in here? Excuse me. Nope. Just thought I'd check. Never mind. Hey, that one's locked. Okay, and there's one over here too. I just sneak past you. Just gonna. Nope. Hello. Is there anything in here that I want? Just gonna go in here now. Um, hello? What's this say? Benetta. Cradle of Humanity. Lots of lore in this game now. It's making it for the last floor. I'll take that first. Oh, I can't carry the island key. Okay, what can I get rid of? Fine. Is there anything else? Like, why are you acting like that's not... I didn't see it targeting it. The hunter's key! Well, let's go use the island key at least first. Because that's on this level, right? No? Yes. We're gonna make another mad dash. Whee! Bye! Come here, Lupia. Let's go this way. No, nope, not you two. Bye. And then it was like up where you are. Okay, hang on. We go around this. Nope. Come here. This way, right? Yeah. Okay, island key. Boop. Yep. Okay, what key are you? Workshop key. Yes. Use a key, get a key. But I want the other key first. Let me go store some stuff, go get the key. I'm gonna be so paranoid about using up my ammo that I'm gonna have all the ammo by the end of this, aren't I? When do we get the revolver? I presume that's gonna be this, uh... Coming soon, anyway. We got the ammo for the last one. And if it's anything like the... <laughs> if it's anything like the shotgun was, we get the ammo the level before we get the weapon. 
Ow. Sorry. Ow again. Sorry. Guess I can use that patch now. Hey, more space. Key, please. Hunter's key. Oh, we're missing something down here too, aren't we? We haven't done this room yet. This one. Oh, the one from back there saw us. We're fine. Falk. They have three little dots on their forehead. Falk. Operational Command Control Unit Replica. Biomechanical polyethylene shell with bolt resistant armor planing. Oh my god, you don't say. Haven't they all essentially had that? 250 centimeters. Why is the Falk unit almost nine feet tall? I'm just saying. They're, they're they're huge! Why is everyone here massive? Classified information? Not anymore. Commander eyes only. Guess what? Oh no. The protector is commander. The head of each Aeon facility's protector force is a powerful prototype bioresonant Falk, an authority that may never be questioned. The Falk unit serves not just as a commander to the protectors, but as a nearly godlike being. Okay. A perception that is underlined by her tall build and resemblance to our nation's leaders, the great revolutionary and her daughter. Okay, well that's why she's so tall. Is also aided by her powerful prototype bioresonant module. Bioresonance module. I can't speak. Which not only allows her to bend the will of weaker minds and fathom their intentions and emotions, but also grants her the ability to manipulate objects from a distance. So she's a Jedi. Gotcha! Oh, don't start with me. Hi! Are you going to control my mind? I just sneaky sneaky this way. Just gonna pick up this. Yeah, two of them? Oh, you're not gonna scare me right now? Okay, hang on then. Let me go get this. There's a bunch of eyes there. Falk's Diary. 8421A. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I don't want to live anymore is what I've become. The red eye beyond the gate showed me. No, touched me. Poisoned me. It feels like my mind's been contaminated, defiled by another person's memory. I'm no longer fully myself anymore. But I've not fully become someone else either. I'm stuck here, between her and me, with half-formed dreams and recollections penetrating my brain and tainting my every action. Who is she? Who's that white-haired girl? Why do I long to see her again? Why would she curse me like this? Oh, is that our dream from before? Is that how we started it? So that whole starting sequence? I don't know. I know what white-haired girl you're talking about, though. I keep calling her young, am I wrong? What am I looking at? Oh, it's what you're holding. I see. Looks like an owl. There's little eyes and his beak and little feathers. Oh! <laughs> it is! A heavy box fashioned to look like an owl. There's small holes at the top looking like a speaker or a microphone. Can I have it? Doesn't look it. Well, we're gonna come back here anyway, so let's go do that. I know. I know. I know. Hold up. Ugh. Needy things, aren't they? Library key. Go figure. I don't have that. Let's go through here. Can I do it? Okay, there's one key down at least. What's in here? Lots of stuff. Okay. Probably stuff I don't have room for. I have room for that though. Thank you. Audio tape deck unit. Wired up broadcasting unit. Audio cassette. I don't have one yet. But if I do, I'll bring it here, okay? Hi, star and storage. Replica known issues part two. 
Previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for these units. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, this document should be destroyed after reading. Well, they didn't do a good job of that. Star. Despite their normally laid-back demeanor, stars have a strong internal hierarchy, which is important to take into consideration when promoting units to officers. Not promoting a respected unit or promoting a unit low in status can lead to friction within the dorms. Stars will occasionally develop in-group rules involving physical punishments. Okay, so they're a uh, fraternity. It is recommended to allow some officers to own military weapons as fetish objects to stabilize their persona. So stars are the BDSM dorm, is what you're implying here. Storage units initially have a short temper. Training them in patience early after deployment is key, as their neural pattern is less stable than other models. Failing to do so may yield an extremely volatile personality prone to cruelty and violence. A common strategy is pairing them closely to an older star unit. Storch's persona stabilizes by showering or bathing. Books on history or mythology work well as fetish objects. So they literally just need to cool off. If they get upset, just be like, okay, go take a cold shower, you're fine. I love it so much that the Storch's fetish object is a book. Like, compared to Star. Storch is over here like, this book is going to keep me put together and it's this object with much power. And Star's over here like, oh, object with power? How about this gun? One's far more literal than the other. I can see Star showing up at a book reading like, hey, I brought my favorite. This magazine. Anyway, I'm in love with the whole Star and Storch situation. Actually, I can go through there now, can't I? Through the repair bay. Hello? Just gonna go this way. Oh, there's a cattle prod that way. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. There's some. Meow. Ah. Okay. Another one of these weird glitchy tables. I call them glitchy, bloody tables. No, I see you getting up over there. Weapon case, no space. I'll be back. Padlock key? Oh, what do I not need? Yes. Can I open weapon case? Oh, it has the padlock. Uh, <laughs> I should have brought it with me. Darn it. Ugh. I'm having to make this trip so many times. Hi lovelies, I'm just gonna go this way. I know, it's inconvenient for me too. Wait, okay, we're gonna unlock this door. I'll key. Now we're gonna get that adhesive. Hi! I want the tape. Because knowing my luck is going to repair a single card like the last one. Oh, I can read that. <laughs> star gets 60 out of 60s. Of course Star does. Oh, other star didn't do very well. Tank? <laughs> of course the tank didn't get very well on accuracy. Why would the tank be accurate? Do we know that, Storch? Can I shoot them? I mean, it's probably a waste, isn't it? Don't want to shoot the baddies, but sure, I'll waste the ammo on some targets. Because why would I shoot hostiles? Hey guys! No, I'm just going to go into the other room. Stop. This one. Okay, who's gonna come from the floors? At least they have nice little fairy lights up. Inspect. Oily leader? Owl leader? <laughs> See, look at that. I'm getting better at my German. This <laughs> shirt has nothing to do with the fact it sounds similar. <laughs> okay, hang on. 
A tall mirror stands in the corner of the room. My reflection somehow feels very unfamiliar. Probably because it's not your reflection anymore. Because it's not you- I know, I need to go get that too. Okay, let's store more things. I want my key. This one. That way I can merge you. Combine with key. Revolver! Hey look, there it is! Alright, I need to go get that tape. Oh wait, I need the tape. Because it said the thing's broken. Does it mean that there's two parts or can I just like put some tape on it? Let's find out. I don't think you can fix a cassette tape once it's snapped in half, can you? Like, it makes it a little difficult. Like, how would I fix a broken cassette tape with tape? I'm going to guess the film inside of it is just fine, it's just the body of it? That's problematic? Did I just do that and not have space? I bet you I just did, didn't I? Ah, Listen, I'm not smart, okay? Just gonna store that. Okay, let's try that again and pick up the proper thing and not just every shiny. This, please. Yes. Thank you. Portable audio tape player with a knife embedded in the speaker. Oh, like the letter from before. Okay, it just clicked. I wonder where they got all the knives from. They have so many knives. And they don't look like they're just like fight knives. They seem like they're chef knives. Okay, so the broken cassette. Right there, it seems like it's the actual tape itself that's broken. If I can fix this with my roll of tape, I'm going to laugh really, really hard. Is that actually possible? Can you fix film just by taping it together? It's not going to cause any issues with the light, like, bouncing off of it? Can I do this? Is this... <laughs> sure enough! Okay, is that actually possible? Can someone fill me in on that? If that's a thing that we can do? Because of course, of all the things that are happening in this game, that's the part that I'm questioning. Not, oh, they're coming back to life, it's just, why can we fix it with tape? Ah, we're just gonna do this thing again. Whee! I mean, that technique hasn't failed me yet. I have a cassette for you. Small radio broadcasting unit. It's set up to broadcast the tape deck's input signal on frequency 142 kilohertz. Okay. I'm just gonna play some music for a while. I probably shouldn't be playing this. Let's turn that off for now, actually, because I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble. Is that for our owl speaker upstairs? I mean, we might as well go try it. It's the only thing I can think of as a speaker. Do we need to broadcast it? Yep. Okay. Oh, I thought it was just gonna spin forever. <laughs> Hummingbird! Okay, thank you. So is that music important to the owls, or is it just for the sake of it? East Suite on the 8th floor. Yeah, I know where that is. I've accidentally tried to open it many times. This one, I think. Yep. Nice office. Paper? Owl and Ara. I can't remember what Ara stood for. Owls tend to form large groups and like to sing and dance. Oh, As the original neural pattern for this unit was a ballet dancer. Oh, it's even cuter. Persona degradation can be easily prevented by this unit by making sure they have access to music through tape players or musical instruments. Always place at least one mirror in owl dorms, as they have a strong urge to check their own appearance at regular intervals. Owl Persona stabilizes by keeping a tidy appearance and through regular social interactions. They often socialize in groups of roughly 10 units and give each other themed nicknames. Themed nicknames? So they're like the influencers of the units. Ar-rar. Ara. Even though they may seem like quiet simpletons, do not underestimate Aras. While they may not show it, they judge those who are rude or unkind harshly and will quietly stare this judgment with their entire cadre. Their entire gang, basically. Aras get along best with owls, who tend to be patient and friendly, and have a talent for reading Aras expressionless faces. In many facilities, Aras will construct service tunnels accessible only to them, often under floors and walls. Oh, are those what they are? Unstable units may retreat into these tunnels. It's not recommended to attempt to retrieve them. 
Oh, okay, so our little lobster people are the Auras. I'm sorry. Our personas can be best stabilized by allowing them access to plants to take care of. Ideally colorful flowers or trees. Oh, I love both of them. I'm loving these people so much. Which is why they're in the medical place? Is that what... There are little medics? I love them. I'm also loving this cattle prod. Yep. I'm gonna read the big desk one soon, but I feel like these ones... Calibri! That's the hummingbird one, right? That's what that means? You have three dots on your forehead, too. Calibri! Commando Control Unit Bioresonance Technology Replica Hummingbird. 152 centimeters. Hey, someone is not nine feet. <laughs> 152 centimeters. Four foot nine. Calibri is almost my height. Finally, someone I can relate to. A marvel of modern technology. The Calibri is the most capable bioresonance unit ever produced. Every protector Fahedida's Falk unit is aided by a cadre of KLBR, Calibri, unit adjutants which can amplify her bioresonant signals, as well as produce their own. Despite their- oh, Despite their diminutive build, Calibris are one of the most effective protector units. <laughs> Listen, just because they're not like eight feet tall like the others. Able to directly influence the minds of replicas and gestalts, extract information non-verbally, and communicate among themselves instantly in the full bandwidth of the senses. The Calibri's bioresonance is the closest recreation of a true hive mind. They could have been called like the bumblebee then or something, that would have been cute. But I guess it would go away from the bird thing. But we have Minna or whatever, it stands for minor. We can have bumblebees. Pick up the eagle key. Calibri's notes. Keep an eye on Adler, he's hiding something from us. There was nothing in his diary, but when I probed his mind, there were memories of an Elster unit working at Stropinski. There's no record of that model or replica ever being deployed here. An order for a single unit for some survey work in the mine was briefly considered, but no new orders were made due to the commander's sickness. Well, I can tell you where a bunch of them are, and it's called the Elevator. There's plenty of them now. Just saying. 101. 101. God, that hurts my ears. Better? 90. 87. What's next? 67. 67. 65. Okay, don't need 65 after all. Okay, hopefully there's no items I can pick up here, because I don't have space. Look, an item. Ah, <sighs> okay, what can I use or something? I guess we can go use that eagle key, and then we'll come right back. So to use this, I'm gonna leave. Yep, I'll come right back for you once I get this key. I want this. Yes. So, are the ones that do all the frequency things, are they the... They want to be the Cleaver, right? I just figure because they get in your head and do all the frequencies, you have to like counter them. I would like to open my P.O. box, please. There it is. Yep. Oh, what are you? Library key. Hey, I'll take that. Thank you. There's so many keys. Let's go do the library. This one? Eh, let's just do it. What's here? Hi, are you okay? I'll talk to you right now. Calibri, hi honey. Who are you? You can just scan me and find out, I know. You're not one of our staff. The others, they've changed. Yeah, I've noticed. We no longer sing in unison. Oh, it was in your people, I'm sorry. I used to be able to see into their minds. We were as one. Together, we guided them all. But now I can't understand their thoughts anymore. Oh, I've never been so alone before. They're still together and I'm here, outside, and they won't let me in. I can't stand their song anymore. This is the only place where I don't have to hear them. 
This is the only place I'm safe. Honey, I just... Could you come with me? Can we just form a little mob? And we'll just... We'll go take them on together, okay? And even though you can't read my thoughts, I'll just ramble, okay? And you can just hear everything that's going through my head. Calibri. Known issues. Well, they have separation anxiety. Great care should be given to Calibris. Their neural patterns are very unstable, and their bioresonance module makes them very susceptible to influence from others. Like most bioresonant individuals, Calibris will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop, imitating and then broadcasting the emotions of those around them. Acting is sort of an amplifier. So we have the empath hummingbirds. While they're trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral into persona degradation. Due to their bioresonant connection, neural pattern development in Calibris varies less than other models. The constant exchange of memories and emotions between units acts as a safety net that buffers extreme changes. However, once a majority of the units in a cadre degrade, they'll drag remaining units down with them. Because of this, it's important to decommission Calibri units instantly when they begin to degrade. For persona stabilizations, Calibri should have access to a well-stocked library. Everyone has books and mirrors and other vanity items for their fetishes. Meanwhile, stars like, I like guns. Hey look, the two that caused my uh, pain in the last one. Miner and Eagle. Miner! This neural pattern is extremely stable. Little has to be done to keep miners happy. They get along well with most other models thanks to their sometimes submissive, sometimes motherly personality. Unlike other models, diary keeping is not mandatory for persona stabilization. Small stuffed animals may be given as fetish of- Oh. Small stuffed animals may be given as fetish objects, though those resembling cats should be avoided as they might cause resurfacing gestalt memories. What? The original miner had a kitty? Adler units work best when left alone. <laughs> they do not mix well with their own type. They'll usually become very emotionally dependent on their commander. Adlers are very susceptible to bioresonant suggestion, making them fairly easy to control. However, they become bored very easily and may need new fetish objects at regular intervals for stabilization. So he's a fidgety boy, falls in love very, very quickly, who can't catch on to red flags. Okay, maybe we all can relate to Adler after all. Okay, am I just messing with things? What am I doing here? Oh no, I had to get to a thing by- okay, I see, it's one of these kind of puzzles. Okay. I mean, do I need to grab this? Yes, I can do that. See? Oh, look, it's the king in yellow. Which I've been reading because of this game. I didn't know it was an actual book, so then I looked it up and started binging it. I've been enjoying it so far. It's... it sticks with you. It's cool. I mean, if you want to get the gist of it, if you just go online, I'm sure you can find it. But, um... Uh, the Repairer of Reputations, I think, is the first book in the book, if that makes sense. First story in the book. It about sums up the general feeling of what this story is. Oh, I went on a tangent and didn't have space. Astrolabe. Yes, please. Does that need to go into our... Oh, what's that? Is that our red eye that we were talking about before? I'll take it. Don't mind me. Just gonna go this way now. And then I guess up to the eagle room now. Finally. Eagle key. Hello? <gasps> I see lore. Adler's diary. Dear diary, I fell in love with the commander today. I mean, I'm not that far off. I have been fascinated by a peculiar piece of furniture I discovered in storage. A strange box with a removable dial in the front that was confiscated from a worker some time ago. I was instantly drawn to it, though I'm not sure why. When I put my ear on the mechanism, I can hear it faintly clicking like a clock. Because he liked to fidget, my dear. Without Calibri's help, it has become much harder to coordinate with the logistics cadre. If there's anything good to say about that woman, it is how she knows how to make others respect her orders. 
despite her minuscule stature. Oh, shush! I went to see her today, but her room is still locked. I had a dream tonight. Another memory of my gestalt life, I believe. I was wearing my uniform. There was a young woman, her hair white as snow. A young woman. I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on them and asked her to guess the planet on the card I was holding. I was playing with that mechanical lockbox again, of which I'm now sure is some kind of astronomical calendar, when I suddenly remembered a conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model I've never seen before. Some type of engineer with an orange chess piece. In my memory, she was just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed on Stropinski. Replica memory is not the most reliable, they say, but never before have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. The little enigma of that box could only distract me from the chaos around me for so long. All the box contained was a small notebook, of which all pages turned out to be blank. It has been miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill. I long for her stern guidance, that overwhelming authority in which she bathes the room. Oh, Eagle, you're falling hard. More sick, making my work ever harder. How are we meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements? My only consolation is that as our protector staff decreases, so does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replicas end up in the hospital wing, Gestalt workers seem to succumb much too fast for my attempts at treatments. Another diary filled, for no benefit but my own satisfaction. I've not ordered a new one yet, since I spent my saved ration marks on marvelous looking fountain pen, but I guess I'll make use of that notebook. Oh no, I like Adler after all. Fidgety Adler. Of course you'd spend your life savings on a pen. I would, too. Hey, look! This is gonna be weird, isn't it? Elster. Land Survey Ship Technician Replica Magpie. 178 centimeters, so almost 6 feet. A versatile combat engineer unit primarily designed for orbital service. These tough and stoic loners are best suited as specialist sappers and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units true survivalists especially when in their iconic white and blue heavy combat configuration, which sports bullet-resistant armor plating on their chest and forearms. Since the original neural pattern for this unit was lost with the destruction of the central neural archive on Veneta, new LSTR units have been produced based on a decommissioned unit from the Penrose program. Oh, hence the start. Yes, insert the thing. I guess we found out what the thing is for. Okay. Let's see. We have a star thing, thing, thing. What do you guys represent? Hold up. We need to go back to the other place, don't we? I mean, there's a star. I don't feel like they're all in the same position, though, are they? They don't stay in the same alignment. I guess if you're here, up at the top where they are in equivalent, I can do that. I'm sure I'm supposed to use my little eyeball to take a picture of it whenever they're there, but I think we can remember it. Alright. Alright, so we got our star at the top, which is where we had it before. And so then from there, this one was like over here somewhere. Or no, you're the big chunky one. You're down like here. Because then the twins were here. Apparently they're like here, but this will work, right? And then you guys were on this side. Like this. Technically you're like over here. Right? At least I think that's where it was at. And then I just... Yep. Easy enough. Uh... Me, mine. Let's just take this. Administrator's key. Yep. What's in our book? Is that the eye? Isn't that the same, like, red symbol from before? Shrine Diary. It's not blank to me. Oh, wait, no, it's the Adler one. Duh. Of course it's not blank. I've started yet another new diary. How time flies. 
The work is dull and monotonous as ever in Serpinski, but a bright light illuminates my day. I was invited to a meeting by Commander Falk. She was as magnificent as ever. Oh, Adler. Honey, you are a hopeless romantic, aren't you? Another day passes. During my meeting with the Commander today, I felt the strangest sensation of familiarity as I sat with her. Sadly, our meeting was interrupted by an unexpected power outage. <laughs> I've been feeling strangely paranoid these days. Never before have I felt so strongly the sensation of deja vu as I have these past few days. When I checked the pages of my diary today, I noticed that for some inexplicable reason, I seem to have dated my previous entries with today's date. What an embarrassing mistake. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Really? Oh yeah. You're stuck in a loop, like a fractal. <laughs> oh, okay. Every day feels a bit like I've lived it before, and even stronger is the sensation that something is somehow slightly out of place. Well, you are living in a place called the Serpinski. Why is my diary filled with entries I cannot recall writing? Why are they all dated to today? Has the loss of my beloved commander finally gotten to my mind? Am I going insane? I fear what will happen if anyone finds out. I'm alone in this. If they discover my notes, I'll be decommissioned too. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Is this really madness? When I read the pages of my diary, I recall events that never happened. A yesterday that never was, yet it feels as real as the one I actually experienced. This cannot merely be a defect of my mind. It feels as though in this room I peer into another version of reality. How? I do not know. Perhaps I too have become sick like the others without realizing, but I will not succumb. A slow accumulation of reproduction errors. A gradual corruption of information. A story misremembered. Slowly morphing with each retelling, like genetic material. Mutating and evolving, like the replica mind copied over and over from an aging template. I do not know, but I will find out. The answers lie below, I can feel it. Someone or something calls me from there, in the mind. Okay. So about that king in yellow I was talking about, I am definitely seeing the connections now. Between it and our fractal situation and the king in yellow, like that's... I love this. I've already read this. Uh, administration key. So now we can do the mine shaft, right? I guess we'll head to the mining thing then. No, don't get up again. I'm just gonna go this way. I should probably save. hit me. So do I get like brownie points for not killing everything or should I just be going on a mad rush and I'm just driving everyone who's watching insane? Oh, mine shaft. It's only going to end well, right? We'll find out in the next video. I know, the suspense. <laughs>